Hey guys, it's Mr. B. I'm back. We're in the shop. Um, we are on the lift. Uh, got the 55 here uh, on top of us, so we're carrying on with the uh, 55. We're getting ready for uh, the drag strip on uh, July 15. You know that we've been working on this 1955 Chevy. We got a really great motor coming in. Uh, be here in another day. It was on the dyno today, so that's really cool. Uh, I am going to work on removing the old fuel system that used to be in the car here. There's a pair of fuel pumps up here and a bunch of lines running up front that uh, really aren't going to work for what we're doing. We're going to put in one fuel pump with a big fat line that goes all the way to the front. So this system's kind of uh, not what we're looking for. Uh, we didn't build this car. We're just rehabbing it for the races. So a few things I'm going to do. Um, one of the things is this car is put together with uh, Allen head uh, bolts and stuff. So I got this little ratchet and uh, today I happen to have a camera person with me today So maybe she can uh, zoom in on this a little bit and I can show you this. This is a Chapman Mini ratchet great for small places and of course it comes apart so we have the tips that you can put in it and uh, That comes with a whole kit you can see here that we have and that fits in the middle um, left Lefty loosey, righty tighty. All you gotta do is flip it around, um, and that comes from the Chapman company. Hardened. These tips are really, really accurate. That's what's nice about these kits. If you buy cheap tips, uh, whether you're using them on a, a quarter-inch drive or whatever, uh, they wear out. Chapman. Made in America, great stuff, and these tips last a long time. Very accurate too, especially the screwdriver tips. They're super. So we're using a, a little bit of that. Um, Get a magnetic parts tray. If you don't already have one, uh, get one. Um, this obviously is aluminum. It's not sticking. But make sure you have a magnetic, part, magnetic parts tray, pardon me, because it uh, saves you a lot of time and agony when you're looking for bolts all over the place. All right, so I'm going to remove these two fuel pumps. I'm going to get rid of a bunch of these fuel lines. We're going to check to see what's left in here. Pretty sure it's turned to turpentine. This car has been sitting for a long time, so this tank is going to have to get fleshed out too because we want fresh, fresh fuel getting to a brand new engine. So it's all going to go. It's going to get cleaned up. We're going to rehab it. So uh, let's do that right now. Okay guys, we're back, we moved around. We're, uh, um, on this side of the car, you can see we've got uh, two lines here, primary line. Here's what's left of the old, if I can get it down, here's the old nitrous line, so that's gonna come out. I already loosened up a lot of these bolts uh, in the vlog the other day. I think you guys kinda, I was underneath the car and uh, it wasn't very comfortable, it wasn't a lot of room to work, so. I uh, waited until we got up on the lift here to get this stuff out of here. These are uh, not, these are braided, but these, uh, that's power line, but these, these are hard lines. So we're gonna take all that out. Uh, they did a pretty good job putting this together. It's a uh, pretty good quality, but uh, it's just not what we need to do the job we need to do. We're looking for a bigger fuel line. This thing's gonna suck up some gas for sure. So uh, let me get all of these removed and uh, then we'll be getting closer. We're gonna be putting an engine in this in the next couple of days and I'm gonna take you guys along on the trip as we bolt it down. Also, thanks so much for watching. I uh, really appreciate it if you get a chance. Uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get an email so you know when the next uh, vlog is up from myself or from Dirk or from any of the places that we are uh, you know, obviously traveling to. I know Dirk's going to China. Uh, he's gonna drive from China to Paris, France. So that's gonna be a whole uh, Peking to Paris story is a whole different thing. We're going to be showing you a lot of that too. So, uh, and then this car is going to the Orange Drag Strip reunion. I think we've kind of talked about that in the past, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna see what it's gonna do up there. So, uh, let me get these done, and then uh, we'll be back.
Okay, so uh, the uh, fuel lines are out, nitrous lines are out, fuel pumps are out, fuel filter housings are out. Next thing is to take the gas tank down. So let's do that. ready to put the engine in the 55 uh, well, probably over the weekend if we can and then uh, we'll see what happens I don't know if things might change uh, but hopefully we're here either way we got a lot of work to do on the car so we're gonna get it down off the lift and uh, get it back over here in this bay where all the parts are and uh, get it set up to get the engine in um, working on that uh, speaking of the engine uh, here's a little clip from uh, the dyno try another pull Okay, so uh, very cool. Uh, we got a great engine builder. Uh, he's right around the corner from where our shop is here. It's like right here, so really convenient for us and stuff like that. So we're gonna get that bad boy planted in this car uh, uh, very, very shortly. So uh, a lot of things going on. Uh, don't forget, uh, like, subscribe. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook, uh, Classic Drive TV, uh, Instagram, at Classic Drive TV. Uh, put some links below where you can get to all of that stuff in the description um, and uh, don't forget uh, we're gonna be taking this car to the orange drag races so uh, we're gonna be there we're gonna be covering that so if you're in the area uh, check it out orange drag strip I'm pretty sure that's what it is uh, we'd also like to thank the folks from uh, Evans waterless coolant uh, this car is gonna get converted for Evans and uh, they're helping to sponsor some of these vlogs a little bit uh, as well as the drag races so uh, a little bit of help from them uh, in order to get that all done and we really like the Evans cooler because uh, especially with the museum here uh, and the collection uh, cars sit for a while so Evans is really good it's got no oxygen in it and uh, doesn't corrode so we've had good luck with it so far and, and uh, would recommend it so check it out EvansCoolant.com um, you can also check out the uh, ChapmanManufacturing.com. You saw the toolkit in the front end of the video. Uh, great friends of ours have uh, let us try out some of their tools, so uh, uh, we recommend them. They're very good, good quality too, so you can check those out. Uh, we're going to be uh, giving away some of those uh, at the Orange Drag Strip Reunion. So again, that same thing with Evans. Uh, Evans Waterless Coolant will be there and uh, doing some giveaways. So. You might get a chance if you come out, you might get a chance to uh, win a full conversion for your car uh, to Evans Wireless Coolant. So that's it for now. Uh, we'll be back soon. We're going to be filming us putting the engine in. We'll be here all weekend. Uh, we'll probably have some live updates. Check Instagram for pictures and stuff like that and uh, follow it along. So uh, here we go. That's it for the heavy Chevy right now from the Classic Drive headquarters uh, in the middle of somewhere. Uh, I'm Mr. B and we're out.